Entertainment. Today's episode, we got Matt Savoy, first overall pick uh, from the Winnipeg Ice, and Ben Zlotti from the Winnipeg Ice. Two NHL draft picks. Let's go. Woo! Hayes Entertainment. I only touch greatness. Big Mike. And if you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. We're dropping them in right now. Hey, Matt, I just want to thank you so much, man, for coming out today. We really appreciate you coming out and taking some time for us. We appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're really big fans already, and we know you're going to be a superstar, so we just wanted to re- ask you some questions. Yeah, for sure. Thanks. I think Ben's coming on here any second, but... Uh, we, can, we can just drop him in, right? Yep. Uh, what made you guys get into hockey? Uh, my dad played hockey, so uh, he put me and my brother in at, uh, at a young age, and I don't know, I just... We both fell in love with the game, and, you know, he coached me all the way up. So, yeah, we're just a big hockey family. Right on. Why do you uh, wear number 93? And any nicknames? Uh, nickname, uh, lots of the boys call me Sav. And then uh, number 93, I don't know. It's, it's just one of my favorite numbers. Like, there's no really reason behind it. I wore number seven growing up um, just in minor hockey because, obviously, you can't go to – 98 or whatever so yeah but that's what i wanted to wear this year just because i think it's i think it's a good number it's just yeah hey we got ben coming in right now okay ben let us know when you can hear us ben hello hey ben hey ben how's it going good man thank you very much for taking your time for us today we appreciate it yeah no problem just going to ask you guys a couple questions. Uh, I already started with Matt before you got on here, so I might as well ask you, what made you get into hockey? I think just being in Canada, Canada's game. So my dad just strapped on the, the, my boots, and yeah, from there. Makes sense. And uh, why uh, do you wear number uh, four, and do you have any nicknames? Honestly, I just got a sign four, but it's not a bad number. Bobby Orr, just – not quite there yet, but uh, uh, yeah, and everyone just calls me Z. Right on. You might as well roll with it now at number four. Yeah. Uh, either of you guys, you guys got any pregame meals or rituals? So, have you, you can go. Okay. Uh, pregame meals, I kind of just eat whatever my boats makes. So usually, like pasta and chicken or something. And then uh, for pregame rituals, it's kind of just play and sue with the guys and you know tape tape my stick at a certain time and nothing major though yeah for me i uh doesn't really matter whatever gives me uh some energy and then yeah just like sav said just tape my stick same place same time all that stuff so yeah okay this question is for both of you guys who's your favorite sports hero you can go ahead <laughs> I didn't hear it. What was it, pardon? What, who is your favorite sports hero? It doesn't have to be hockey. It can be any sport. Okay. Um, probably Mike Tyson. Just Hey, that's a sweet one. Yeah, just watching him now, and he can still move like that and punch that hard. Just insane how athletic he is and how strong he is. You see, you see those new videos? He's going to make a comeback here. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, Matt, how about you, bud? Uh, it's pretty sad. He recently just passed Kobe Bryant. Um, yeah, just his mentality and everything. I, I don't know. He's always been like a great competitor. I always watched him like growing up and stuff. So he's probably mine. Matt, describe the feeling like getting drafted first overall to the Cooney Ice. Where were you? And take us through that day. Uh, I was actually at school. Uh, yeah, I was just in the kind of like the middle area, the common area at my school. And then I was with some buddies. Um, my uh my phone I was watching on my phone and mine was a little bit delayed my buddies was over there and he he congratulated me and I I didn't even see the pick yet but yeah he congratulated me and then uh my best friend's mom teaches at the school she she came and congratulated me and then uh yeah I went to class got a couple calls from you know Matt Cockle and and Jake and kind of just talked to them throughout the day and 
Yeah, it was a really exciting day, though. I was, I was, I was stoked for sure. Yeah, you probably couldn't be happier going to the ice, too. I mean, when you found out, did you find out that they also acquired the second overall pick to get Connor Geeky? I, did, I didn't know that before the draft, no. Wow. I found, I found out at the same time everyone else did. Okay, okay. We had Connor on a couple of weeks ago, so he's a good kid, too. Yeah. Yeah, great guy. Yeah, Ben, describe the feeling of dropping the dub, and where were you? Yeah, I was at school also. I was in math class, and obviously we had the drafts on our phone. We weren't doing that much school that day, just pretty <laughs> anxious. And um, saw my name, and I had a couple buddies in my class, and gave me some hugs. And then my teacher actually went nuts and came over and gave me a hug. Right on. That's an awesome story. Yeah. Hey, Maddie, it must have been a tough decision choosing between the Dub and the University of Denver where your brother Carter will be attending. Yeah, no, for sure it was tough. Both options were great. And, you know, with my brother going there and then one of my good buddies, uh, Mike Benning, uh, that was obviously a good option. I went down there and toured the school and it was great down there. But well, um, when I got picked, I talked to Matt and, and the rest of the coaching staff and stuff, and I just thought that was a better fit. I went down to Winnipeg uh, just before the draft to check it out, tour the facilities, and I thought – I thought uh, I thought that would be a better fit for me uh, personally, and the environment that they uh, they created down there so fast is all good signs. So, yeah, and I mean you couldn't have asked for a better coach and James Patrick, an NHL veteran, right? So you guys are both lucky have him as a coach. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, what was your guys' biggest transition to the WHL? You figure? Um, for me, definitely how much time I got with the puck and quick decisions and stuff like that, because they're so much faster than midget. And, you got to make a smart play quick. So just adjusting to that for sure. Matt? Just, yeah, just like the time and space out there, it's it's completely different. Like game's way faster when you're playing in the dub compared to midget. So kind of have to adapt to, you know, playing without the puck and being in the right areas. Do you – this question is for both of you. Do you have a favorite sports movie? Uh, probably The Blind Side. Yeah. Solid. Big Mike. That's what me. Yeah. <laughs> we call him Big Mike just like that. <laughs> isn't he? Yeah, it's just a classic. So, probably that one. Good story. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's uh, Remember the Titans. Uh, I've always loved that movie. That's my favorite movie. A couple yeah. of good choices. Most of the hockey guys we interview always say The Miracle or – they mighty docks, but neither of those had anything to do with hockey, so I like that too. Yeah. Hey Ben, bring you back to your first WHL goal. How did it happen? And do you still have the puck? Yeah, it was actually the the teddy bear toss goal. So we get out, we're down three nothing, going to the third versus Kamloops, and get on the power play, get it up top, just put it on net, hits a couple bodies, and it's it's in the net and. Great feeling. Teddy bears went flying. <laughs> yeah. A lot of congrats. So it was awesome. Right on. It doesn't matter. As long as it goes in, it don't matter how yeah, it goes in. Yeah, for sure. Hey, uh, Ben, you also you had a great year this year with four goals, 23 assists, 27 points, and 54 games from the back end. Um, it would have been nice to see what you could have happened with a full season, eh? Yeah, I was getting scratched a bit at the start. And then, obviously, with this whole COVID thing, I uh, got shut down and I thought I had an unbelievable uh, first half of the season. And then after Christmas, I think I slowed down a little bit. But at the end there, I started to feel, like, feel good again. So, yeah. There's always Looking next forward year. to next year. Yeah. Maddie, your first taste of a WHL was a 16-year-old this past season. Uh, you got into 22 games and put in seven points. How do you look to build on that next season? Uh, yeah, not being able to play this year uh, was definitely different. But next year, I'll be able to play a full season. So. Yeah. I think getting getting some games in this year and getting getting comfortable with the league and everything, I think that'll be huge a huge role player next year. Uh, what was it like representing the Maple Leaf at the U seventeens and putting on that jersey? Yeah, for sure. Going as an underage, uh, it was it was super super exciting for me. I've never worn the the Maple Leaf before. Just you know, hockey Alberta and and uh, representing my zone. So that was definitely a step up, and it was a great tournament. Really well ran, and um, I'm excited to go back to the camp uh, camp this summer. You and Shane Wright were the only two underagers, correct? Yeah. Um, if a GM or scout was to ask Matt or Ben, what do you guys bring to the table? Um, I'd say uh, smooth skating, offensively talented uh, defenseman who can play in all situations. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to work more on my defensive game right now, but 
that will come with practice. So, uh, yeah, just a smooth skating, puck moving defenseman who's got some offensive potential. Yeah, um, you know, obviously, uh, same has been like offensive, offensive abilities and then, you know, skating and ability to create plays in the offensive zone and, you know, just, just driving, driving the play uh, whenever I can, using my speed and all that. Who do you guys mirror your game after? Uh, I, I try to mirror my game after Nathan McKinnon. I think he's a great player and, you know, uses speed and shot well on the offensive zone, so. Yeah, I think, I think he's, uh, he's going to turn into a, one of the best players in the league. Here. He's definitely already one of the best players in the league. And it sucks he plays in Colorado being a Canuck fan. But <laughs> the, he, 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 real recognize real, and that guy has got an awesome talent. He's a superstar for sure. He goes underrated being in Colorado, I find. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Ben, you? Sorry, bud. Um, I'd say, well, I'm trying to – uh, monitor my game after uh, Roman Yossi. Um, just can do it all. He's just unbelievable. Drives that uh, unbelievable defense core on Nashville. So, yeah, Roman Yossi for sure. Uh, who are you guys' biggest influences in your career? Uh, for me, biggest influence, you know, just someone who supported me all the way up is like my dad. Um, you know, he got me into the game. He was my coach in minor hockey. And, you know, I've, I've really just look up, looked up to him because he played hockey. And, you know, he really created the love for the game for me and my brother. So, yeah, he's he's definitely one of my biggest influences. For me, I'd say uh, my brother. Um, look up to him. And he's always there by my side. And just, yeah, just probably my brother for sure. Uh, how are you preparing for the 2020 draft? Um, well, my gym's been open for about two months now, so I've had that advantage versus some other people. But, yeah, just not really trying to keep my mind on it that much. Just have fun working out back on the ice now. So, yeah, just doing everything I can. Both you guys, you guys must have been happy with the vets in uh, Winnipeg, uh, such as Peyton Krebs, Isaac Johnson, Michael Tapai, and – Dawson Barto. I mean, all great guys, and sure, you guys learned lots on and off the ice from both all those guys. Yeah, those guys were great to uh, to the younger guys. They they kind of led the way and showed us what's what in the league. So yeah, it was great to have guys like that in the in the dressing room for sure. Yeah, obviously, all of them are great players, and for me, especially uh, Barto, he was he was a defenseman also. So I watched him try and see what he does, and he signed and all that. So. Trying to, try to be him, too. Hey, uh, do you guys have a pregame song before the game that you like to listen to, maybe in your headphones or if you ain't the DJ? Uh, kind of what, whatever's on. PD, Owen Peterson's usually got music before the game, so he usually plays, plays some good tunes in the room. Yeah. Some never say never. Do you guys play any fantasy, you play any fantasy sports? Uh, I did. I did some fantasy hockey uh, yeah. this year. I'm not really that into the fantasy thing. It's too confusing. I never win. So yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Fun. We we had a big group of guys start like fantasy basketball and fantasy hockey, and like it was probably big for like a week, and then it kind of died off. And everyone yeah, was about it. It always happens that way. And that's the thing. Fantasy basketballs, like fantasy baseball, you have to do it every day. Fantasy hockey, you have to do it every day. Yeah. I'm a fantasy football guy. I do play one league only, only one league only for hockey. And But I have five fantasy football teams. <laughs> so your fantasy football, at least you only have to check your roster once a week and you start yeah. on Sunday. But hockey, you're going every single day and – yeah. What uh, yeah. what motivates you guys getting up in the morning to go get it? Uh, for me, you know, just just striving to be better every day. Like, um, just just because I'm so passionate about hockey, um, you always you're always looking to to you know build your game and get better. So, going to the gym and everything, like you just wake up and and like you got you got to be motivated to go to the gym and get on the ice. So I think that's that's definitely the biggest reason. Yeah, for me, it's just everything got to do with a purpose and working out. We're all working out on the ice for a purpose and just you learn something new every day. So just a new day is a new challenge. So, yeah.
I can't wait for you guys for next year. I mean, you guys are one of the best up and coming teams in my eyes. I mean, you guys got some young studs in like P Peterson and McLennan Lambos and then you and Kiki and Ben, like you guys are going to be stacked for our, years to come. Our good buddy Lambos. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. got, uh, we got a pretty deep uh, young core coming up. So I'm looking forward to the next couple of years, see what we can do. What's yeah. your favorite road barn? Stole my question. <laughs> Everett. Everett for sure. They have a – say they have a two-on-four rush and the crowd's just going nuts. It's awesome. Yeah, we hear a lot of Everett and Portland. Portland. Yeah. From all the I guys in the dub that we interview. Yeah, I didn't play in the U.S. teams this year, but being from uh, Edmonton, I like playing in Edmonton. We played in the school game. And it was sold out. Same with Calgary. Yeah. Yeah. We're hoping you guys come to Vancouver this year when you guys play. We want to be able to come and watch you guys, but not very often does Kootenai or Winnipeg come here. Yeah. I come once next year. I oh, think, yeah, I think we come once. Yeah. yeah. Hey. We have a BC trip next year, I think. Yeah, there you go. We will be there. We will be there 100%. High five. Right. After the game. The, um, we'll have the sign, Matt and Ben, number one in our hearts. <laughs> yep, no, yeah. he'll, he'll have that sign. I ain't doing that <laughs> shit. I ain't doing that shit. The um, okay, let's ask you a couple of music questions here. What what's in your playlist? I I got a whole mix. Uh, I love music, so just anything I hear, it's good. It's going on the playlist. Yeah. A lot of rap though. There's a lot of rap. I don't get aux very much. No one really likes my music. <laughs> so I put on gang of style a couple times. It's, classic just loosen up the boys yeah 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 you always know when ben's on uh when ben's on ox in the dressing room everyone's ripping out of playing brutal music <laughs> <laughs> every time hey guys i just want to thank you both like so much for coming out today like we can't thank you enough and we both know that you guys are going far in hockey and we can't wait to cheer you guys on all the way and thank you and we're yeah. fans of yours forever yeah, and we're Thank definitely get, we're definitely coming to the game next year when you guys will be there, and I'll, we'll bring up that we had you on the interview. <laughs> All right, my name is Ben Zlotti, and I'm um, I'm on the Only Touch Greatness podcast. I'm Matt Savoy, and I'm on the uh, Only Touch Greatness podcast. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, yeah, guys. Thanks. Hey, you're gonna Bye. be superstars, guys. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Thank you.